Hello, I'm Libby Stewart. I'm one of the aesthetic nurse practitioners here at Aurora Clinics um, in Princess Risborough. I'm going to talk to you today about thread veins. Thread veins, red veins, or to give them their proper name, telangiectasia, are something which bothers a lot of uh, people, both ladies and gentlemen. And they're a very common thing that occurs um, for all sorts of reasons. Now, why do we get these annoying little red veins on our faces, which, um, which can be very, very small, tiny little, little um, broken capillaries, to something a little bit larger, or in fact something that resembles perhaps a little sort of blemish on the skin? Well, in fact, they are formed as the, um, the, the body's network of um, blood going around, around the body gets thinner and thinner as it comes to the surface and, and further and further away from the heart. And anything such as um, strain or um, irritation can actually cause those little capillaries to um, become overextended and give this appearance of this sort of like little red marbly pattern on the surface of the skin. Now really anything at all that causes um, pressure in the blood network system can give rise to this. Anything from um, being overweight, constipation, being a, a really sort of mad exerciser, somebody who lifts a lot of weights, pregnancy, anything which puts additional strain on our, on our circulation. So you can see you're not alone if you have this condition. Most of us actually do have some form of this condition somewhere or other on our body. Something else that um, causes these little red veins are the exposure to um, intense changes in, in heat, um, sunshine, wind, uh, you know, being too cold. And living as we do here in the UK, we know all about that. You know, there's hardly a day goes by that we're not out there in the winds, the rains, and the occasional summer day when perhaps we don't um, apply our sunscreens as maybe we ought. So these also give rise to the appearance of red veins. And another factor is diet. Any, anybody who um, enjoys hot spicy foods, curries, maybe um, takes a glass of wine now and again, you know, all these things add to the appearance of uh, red veins for the, for the face. And in some subsequent videos, we will discuss ways of treating red veins and what you can expect following treatment. If you have any questions, please telephone us on 01844 214362, where our team will be very happy to discuss uh, arranging a consultation free of charge for you. Thank you for watching.